Hey guys, just make sure that the camera's working. Looks like it's not being picked up. Uh, that's okay. I think it's because I had it being used for something else. And uh, it was not being picked up, but it's okay. No problem. We'll just give uh, Vivian default resting animation and not sweat it. Um, hey, TJ, WK, how you doing? Hmm. How are we, how you guys doing this Easter weekend? Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, should be playing a little Hell Divers too. Life is out. I got a show tomorrow, but I want to do some gaming. So, going to do some of that. Maybe uh maybe some of my friends will be online. Let me see. Um Hey Nova fan, how you doing? Welcome to the show. All right. So, I w do you guys mind if I, like, talk a little bit about, um, while I'm waiting for the game to start? About some recent news that's kind of, um, religious related. If that doesn't interest you, just tell me in the chat and I won't bother you with it. Meanwhile, let me put my headphones on so that um, you know, don't get any echo. And hmm, game's taking a little bit of time to set to start up for some reason. Getting a black screen. Oh, here it goes. So, do you guys mind if I do that? Let me know. See who's online. Nobody is. Guess I'm gonna be joining up with randos. So we are currently trying to liberate Tibbet from the automatons. Going to uh, go into the Czar sector. No, oh, I'm in the Severin sector, actually. But this has been done. Let's go back to Malevolent Creek, I guess. I'm gonna jump in and help some people out. Take command of the galaxy's liberation. Here's the guy that just started. Destroyer has joined squadron. Well, I'm just gonna talk about something that's on my mind, so hey. Allied Destroyer has joined squadron. Forgot that my uh microphone Engaging is on. What's up? Thrusters. I don't think their mic their mics are on too. I don't know what's going on with that. Orbit synchronized. Hey. Hell divers to hell pod. Repeat. Hell divers. Ooh, we got a skull admiral in the party. Nice. What about here? Here? What about here? Yo yo. Here? Yo yo. What about here? Maybe. No.
big booms all day. Let's get it. Launch initiated. All right, here we go. This shit never gets old. We're either dropping into a really big map or this thing's about to crash. There we go. I can take out the uh, fabricator over here. Found something. Clear. Do we up? Do we up? Okay, we got it. Have a taste of democracy. New man. I got it. Calling in an eagle. Democracy's on its way. Find the terminal. I've got this one. Mm, bullseye. First one. North. Okay. 
There we go. Oh, the Rocket Raider. Jesus. Yeah, buddy. Call 
Calling in reinforcements. Whoa. Tagging map. East. 200 meters. Yeah, fuck you. Tagging map. East. 200 meters. Mag's empty. Ugh. Step on me now. Drop hit. Requesting orbital strike. Twenty seconds, about twenty five. Requesting sentry. Did he get 
get all those samples. Why isn't... Hey, Robert Johnson. Hey, John. Destroyer has left squadron. I get out of here. Oh, well, we could stay for a while. What was the thing you wanted to talk about? Oh, you want to know? Okay. Yeah, for some reason, my thing was down. Hold up. Uh, let me just. I'm gonna mute myself on the in the game so that I, I don't bother anybody. All right, and I got kicked, so whatever. Uh, hey, what's up? Sargon taking on the Helldivers two versus Starship Troopers debate sounds entertaining. Thanks for the heads up. That's the that's the bot. That's weird, isn't it? I have been kicked. Probably for insubordination, I, I I assume. Are you on Rumble? I should be. Uh, yeah, just look up Honey Badger Arcade on Rumble. Hold on a second. Yeah, it should be, it should be live. Let me just uh, double check. Now you got me wondering. Yeah, I'm live on Rumble. Um, there's like a couple people watching there too. I, it looks like uh, I got four people watching on Rumble. Well, three because I'm watching on Rumble just to make sure my stream is steady. So. Okay, so the thing I wanted to talk about since I'm like sitting here anyway. Uh, and well, I do have somebody that I know is online. Let me just see who it is. A master rogue, but he's got a full party. So. Um. So you know, like I wanna I wanna talk about this because I think it's related to all the other stuff we're looking at here. So there is a war on our culture, but I think that it spawns from something uh spiritual. And I can't I don't bring this up at on the show very much because um I don't think that people wanna hear it. El Kusanagi, what's up? 
And um, I know it's kind of like, it sounds a little like, I don't know, maybe wooey or, or um, uh, Sky Daddy-ish, but I am seeing, there's lots of evidence for this. So when I was growing up, um, just a, a slow version, when I was growing up, okay, I'm a Gen Xer. So, and I was, it was, it was past like, the 60s and all of that stuff and uh i lived through basically the 70s 80s and 90s and um in in at that time as a kid things like christmas halloween thanksgiving uh easter the fourth of july these were big deals these were these were huge when i was a kid Dang says youtube blocks some things on chat and you're not able to realize that anymore oh yeah see i'm looking at uh, it it's it is weird because like my uh uh social stream ninja that i use to um display the chat there sometimes it 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 does have problems displaying stuff but i do see your rumble chat so thank you anyway um and i noticed over time as i got older that those things started to like become less and less uh central and at the same time Things like family have become less central in and not just in our uh, culture but I think that's where it started like it was like sort of social and cultural and now it's sort of normal to have like dysfunctional families you can look at our media you know from like the very old um, say like sitcoms where you know you had a mother and a father and their children and then, like, over time, these things would change a little bit in very subtle ways. Like, the Brady Bunch, what people would consider to be super wholesome, is really about a single father and his three kids and a single mom and her three kids, and they just happen to get together. So it's like a post-divorce, um, a widowing, like, family. And these kids are not biologically brother and sister. And there's, you know, and there was weird shit going on behind the scenes, like... You know, like the father, the guy who played the father, I can't remember his name, Mike Brady, the guy who played Mike Brady, the father, he was gay and like, you know, there were pe there were people like fooling around on the set and stuff. And and people think about the Brady Bunch and they think like, that's like the most wholesome, but it, but it was probably pretty edgy for the time. And you got like All in the Family, you know, which was also kind of like playing with this and there was always this idea that they were like subverting something like, oh, we're just gonna like go against, you know, the the uh the normal whatever the normal is we're gonna try something different we're gonna put a twist on it but when you think about how old the idea of putting a twist on something is like that i mean you know it's sort of like wait so all in the family was a twist of course it was right like the brady bunch was a twist sanford and son was a twist um chico and the man you know like whatever these and and i, I guess I, i'm not trying to make this all about um sitcoms but i'm using it as an example you know, over time, there were other shows that tried to do different things um, to go against in, in other ways, you know, to like do, put a little spin on things. But I feel like oh, the, the purpose of this was to, to normalize something. It's like a slow creep. You normalize this idea of um, a family that comes together like out of a, you know, necessity because the family was like already destroyed and this is how they recover. And they're kind of, but they are still pretty wholesome and like moral people. And then over time you get into families that are a little bit more dysfunctional and then they go a little bit more dysfunctional. Then you get like married with children, which I know a lot of people have a soft spot for, you know, I get that. But if you really look at what it's about, it's about a dysfunctional family. You know, they're poor, they don't get along, they constantly argue, they don't like each other, or at least they don't, they don't appear to. But in order to keep the show going, everything has to be mended by the end. And then you get into like m other things, you know, even less, uh, or even more dysfunctional, like, um, uh, I don't know, like the Simpsons, you know, where Homer would choke out Bart like all the time. And, and we thought it was just like, you know, more of a slapstick kind of gag type of thing. But like you notice over time you get, you know, the fathers are, are more bumbling. They're more stupid. They're more useless or they're more, I don't know, l disinterested in their kids. And, and then that becomes normalized. And um, all, all the while, it's like multi-pronged, you know? Like all, all the while, other things are happening. Like people are 
making Christmas out to just be about Santa Claus and not about like the nativity, not about the birth of Jesus, which is really what it's about. Like, and this is something that, I mean, it's not, it, whether you agree or disagree, it doesn't matter. That's what it is, right? And then you get people like throwing shade at it. Oh, you know, trees are pagan. And Christmas is a pagan holiday. And so like over a while you chip away little by little by little by little at these things that we've always done, you know, like what used to be George Washington's birthday and Abraham Lincoln's birthday becomes President's Day and they make it one day. And like what uh, was Thanksgiving, now every, now every year when Thanksgiving comes around, we have to like deal with the indigenous like, you know, uh, colonizer arguments and the and the horrible things, you know, that happened. The pilgrims were, like, so bad to the, to the natives, etc. Or when Christopher Columbus comes around, it, it, you know, like, and you can see how, like, over time, general hostility to Western culture grows and grows and grows. It starts off and it's kind of like, you know, it's there's a little bit of criticism. Then there's a little bit more and then there's a little bit more and it just keeps chipping away right and um I'm, I'm i said all that to say to say this so we have noticed that i'm using holidays as an example but it's sort of like talking about a, a bigger thing okay we have noticed that um now we only seem to really care about new year's when it comes to holidays Thanksgiving's a big problem. They're telling us every time you go to see your family on Thanksgiving, you're gonna argue with your boomer parents or your or your uncle that's racist at the table. Like this is so, now this is the new trope. The new trope is I I dread seeing my family on Thanksgiving, which is intended to make you resent family as a concept, right? Like that's what the outcome is. When Christmas comes around, and it's only Christmas, they don't do this for Hanukkah, they don't do this for Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa gets lifted up like it's it's a it's a holiday made up by an ex-convict, but they it gets propped up as like the new substitute Christmas, like better than Christmas, more noble than I I guarantee that in the next five years there's gonna be a Kwanzaa movie that's gonna be Oscar bait. They're gonna somehow they're gonna make that into the new thing, and. You start off by trivializing something, then you make people forget about what it was because Christmas is not about Santa Claus, although Santa Claus is... I'm not one of these people that dislikes Santa Claus. I think that Santa Claus is good. I think it's a good thing to have because he is... Uh, he builds um, a sense of community. It's good for children. I'm okay with kids believing in Santa Claus. I don't think that there's any harm in that, you know? Um, so I, I don't I don't see it as a separate thing. I don't see it as capitalist greed. I don't see it. It's a symbol of Christmas. It's okay. It's okay that there's a tree. It's okay that there's, you know, gifts and socks and stockings and, and all that. I just don't like Elf on the Shelf, but that's a different discussion. I don't like that. But the other stuff is fine, right? And I think there's an importance to everyone having a shared culture like a shared idea okay um of of like the way that the that time passes so you know it used to be for example when we had television and we had movies and people didn't have the convenience of dvds or downloadable um you know streaming of, of movies immediate gratification and i'm not blaming those things so i think they're they're very convenient but before when like you know everyone watched television shows at the same time all over the country. So like when a show came on, everyone watched it, you know? There was something that brought us together when we did that. So like kids of my generation can remember like the Saturday, the, the week, the weekday afternoon after school, you come home and there was like a block of cartoons, right? From, from like two o'clock, that's around the time you get out of school, to like five o'clock or 4 30 4 30 5 o'clock and everyone watched the same thing so that and this was like for everyone primetime television you know my we, we watch all of the family sitcoms like the growing pains and the uh you know um different strokes and and whatever and because we all watched it together we all shared it so everyone knew it we had like a share we had like like a shared culture and a shared language of our culture you know 
and it brought people together. Like you would watch some movie that came on TV on like a Saturday night or something. And then Monday you'd go to work. And you know, if you were an adult, you go to work and all your friends or all your work colleagues saw the same movie. You'd be like, dude, did you see the James Bond movie or whatever, whatever came on, right? So there was something about that. And I think that these holidays are the same. Like, you know, Christmas comes and, and, and there's stuff that you can get, decorations for the tree and for your lawn and for your house and the gifts and everyone's shopping and everyone's doing this together. And people will say it's materialist and all that, but that's that's bullshit. Like it's it's not, that's not what matters. What matters is like that we're all sharing these experiences at the same time and it builds community, especially like, you know, um, like if you know the people that are in your neighborhood, you know, like Sesame Street, that song, you know, these are the people in your neighborhood. And um, I think that like, again, I'm not blaming the internet for this because I think that we can still do this and it still does happen. Like, you know, with streaming, I, I believe that there's this argument or debate going on about whether or not binge streaming content is better than it being released like on a schedule. And I think it being released on a schedule is better because it does it does exactly that thing. So for example, Game of Thrones, I didn't watch it because I didn't like the show, but Game of Thrones was on HBO, I think, right? And so there'll be a new episode of Game of Thrones, I think it was like every Sunday night. So people who are into the show, they would watch it and then on Monday they'd go to work and talk about it. That's, that's what I'm talking, it would bring people together, right? If you weren't a fan, you didn't talk about it, but like, but if, if everybody was doing it together, it was this thing that we shared, okay? And um, I think that, like that's happening now with the show Shogun, which I'm enjoying. I don't have, uh, it's on like FX, but, and I don't have uh, any of that, but I watch Shogun. Like usually it comes on Tuesday nights and I usually get to watch it like Wednesday or Thursday, but, but, but it is being released in this kind of way. And I think that's making a comeback, but I digress. The thing I wanted to talk about that's bothering me is this erasure of days that we used, we we would like take into consideration for specific things. So, um, for example, we've we already uh, got on the show. Hi, John. Uh, I it's totally a spiritual battle. I agree with that. Nova fan says I think the problem is the critics could only complain but never say what a good idea is instead. Well, this is what happened to the Cosby show, right? This, I'm, I'm telling you, this is why Bill Cosby was me too Because he was gonna bring back family-friendly television. And I say he was me too If you don't agree with me, we've done videos on it. I don't think that the evidence against him is very strong. Plus, it looks like he's gonna beat the case, but already it doesn't matter. He's getting the Johnny Depp, he got the Johnny Depp treatment, right? But he was going to address problems that he saw in the black population because he always wanted to do that that was like that was his mission right the fat albert show was that the the cosby show was him saying this is what a black family could be and it was supposed to be aspirational and i think for a while it was it was the most popular show on tv and everybody watched it everybody watched it right it, i think it went on forever like it was it was like the Fresh Prince. It was like that. That was a kind of a similar thing. Although I thought the French Prince was funnier myself, but like, but yes, the Cosby show was very popular. But like, um, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so so there, there was this erasure going on. It's a slow process. These are always slow because if you move too fast, people notice. That's why Gamergate 2, which is really just Gamergate 1, like in second gear, um, that's why Gamergate 2 is, is happening because they move too quickly and with too much zeal against the gamers and the gamers noticed and that's why we're fighting back, which we should have been from the beginning as I have been saying for 10 years, but I'm glad that, you know, people are starting to take notice and get activated. But like in most cases, it's gonna go slow. And this is why I feel like I need to preface all this other stuff because I do have something I wanted to, to mention. So on Honey Badger Radio, I, we talk about men's issues. And one of the things that we do every year is we recognize International Men's Day, which is November 17th, if I remember correctly. It's either November 17th or November 19th. I, I get that wrong sometimes. 
you can correct me if you want, but I do know that we do a show on International Men's Day every year. And one of the things that we do, one of the first things that I do in the morning that day is I go to all of the mainstream social media sites to see if any of those places have acknowledged International Men's Day. Because when International Women's Day comes around, there are the Google Doodle changes, Facebook has like a special background you can use, um, you know, YouTube has a special like uh, icon, like their, their uh, icon in the top left corner where the YouTube logo normally goes. They'll have a special logo for International Women's Day. The, you know, all of these places, right? The UN puts out a statement, all of the, it's like, it, and, and this is like every year, like every year. And look, I don't have a problem with that. I don't care. Um, but on International Men's Day, there's just silence. The Google Doodle is nothing. No one talks about it. It doesn't come up, okay? Now, I'm not bothered by that because, you know, I'm a grown-ass adult and it doesn't bother me that I don't see it because I don't need that to get up in the morning. But it does, the importance of it is the pattern that it reveals, that you're seeing like over, you know, they don't acknowledge it. They don't have to shit on it, but they don't acknowledge it. And that's a subtle one. Now, Father's Day is another one they do this with. So on Mother's Day, again, you see, you know, all of this uh, fanfare, Google Doodle, fucking all this shit, right? All of this, like, like Amazon is telling you, hey, don't forget to get your mom something. You know, like there's all kinds of reminders and, uh, um, you know, all of this stuff to, to remind you about Mother's Day. It's a big deal. Call your mom, whatever, right? Father's Day comes around and not only do we not get a lot. Now, that has to be acknowledged because it's not completely erased yet. But what they do is they change the focus. They say, this Father's Day, we're going to acknowledge the, the, the moms doing double duty. And so they, it becomes single Mother's Day. And and that is what it's been for years. Like every every year, Father's Day comes around, and there's an there's a a special consideration for single mothers. And the purpose of this is to slowly like make it into single Mother's Day, <laughs> or just like ignore it completely because even Mother's Day becomes more about single Mother's Day. Even Mother's Day is like extra, right? And I remember Terry Crews was on, uh, I think it was The View uh, one year, and he was trying to make the case that we should not make Father's Day about moms or single moms or aunties or, or nanas or whatever. And he got a lot of shit for that. He got a lot of shit for that. But he was right to speak up, and I'm glad that he did. And so, like... Um, I think that uh, that that's another example of what I'm talking about. So you have like men getting sort of like slowly erased, right? And this, like, I saw this video from Baggage Claim where she Baggage Claim's got a pretty good channel in terms of production value. I think she gets things wrong, and I correct her in the comments all the time when she says, "You know, this new wave of feminism is bad," you know, and I'm like, "Nope, it's always been bad." Like, you, like we we got to stop doing that. We got to stop it. We got to stop with this it was once good thing because that's how come it persists. It was never necessary. Men have never hated women. Men have never wanted to oppress women, at least not as a group. You might find a tyrant, but that's not men, <laughs> you know? And women can be tyrannical in their own way. But uh, she made this video and she was basically saying, like, what is it with Hollywood and feminized men? And what she doesn't seem to put together is that the feminization of men is not something that's only happening in entertainment. That's just when it's where it's most prominent. This is happening at every level of our society, at every stage of a boy's development. From the moment they are born and circumcised, all the way up to when, like, into their adult years. And they, they, and this is like a slow process. Like, so I've been reading, um, the New Testament, and I, and I, and again, if you're, if you're an atheist or this offends you, I apologize, but I just want to, I'm not going to preach at anybody. I'm not going to tell you what to believe, but I've been reading the New Testament because I'm, I'm, uh, in the midst of great Lent and this means prayer and fasting. Okay. 
And this is my first year of Great Lent, kind of a new thing. But I've been reading the New Testament and um, some of the things that I learned about this, which is, is very interesting, and this is what I thought I would share. One is that circumcision or male genital mutilation is not Christian. If you are circumcised, you can be, you can convert to Christ, but if you're not, you don't have to. And Jesus changed everything about that. He said that you have to circumcise your soul, which is basically to say, if you're not circumcised, it's okay, right? Um, this is this was part of the whole new covenant thing, where it's like, look, you know, it was before Christ came that to follow God, you had to be a Jew. Like the he was the God of the Jews, but when Christ came, he said no. This is not exclusive to the Jews. This is for anyone who wants to repent. This is the reason why, by the way, this is where the tension between Judaism and Christianity is. It is in Christ himself, okay? Now, I said this to say that the most important day of the year for Christians is not Christmas, although that's a big one. It is the resurrection. It is Pascha or Easter. Now, Easter is tomorrow. Okay. Now, um, I say this because the majority of people in the United States are still Christian. This is still a largely Christian country, not Judeo-Christian. That's another conversation, but that's not what it is. Um, although that's something that a lot of people sadly believe. And I think the problem is that a lot of Protestants fell into a trap and that since most of our country is Protestant, uh, that, but anyway, that's a conversation for another time. All I would say is that the the unfortunately the Protestant um, Protestantism allowed for too much compromise when combined with liberalism made it like worse in in a lot of ways. But so this is what annoyed me. Okay, Joe Biden put out a statement. I'm just gonna say it. So tomorrow is Easter. Now the Easter for Protestants and Catholics. Uh, Easter for Orthodox, which is what the church that I belong to, is not until the end of next month. So it's going to be rough. Um, but that's a lot of fasting. But but um, uh, this is a, a statement from the office of Joe Biden. Now, therefore, I, Joseph R. Biden Jr., President of the United States of America, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the United States do hereby proclaim March 31st, 2024, that's tomorrow, as Easter? No, Easter is tomorrow. But he's not acknowledging it as Easter. He's acknowledging it as proclaiming tomorrow as Transgender Day of Visibility. I call upon all Americans to join me in lifting up the lives and voices of transgender people throughout our nation and to work toward eliminating violence and discrimination based on gender identity. In witness there whereof, I have hereunto set my hand this 29th day of March in the year of our Lord, 2024, and all of the independence of the United States of America, the 248th, Joseph R. Biden Jr. So he is essentially declaring Easter to be transgender, what is it? Transgender day of visibility, not not of remembrance, because that's another day. So we got transgender day of remembrance, transgender day of visibility, and pride month. And I think there's another trans month as well. And the reason why I bring this up is, I don't like, however you feel about Easter, however you feel about like Christianity or Jesus, let's put that aside for a second. He's replacing a holiday with transgender day of visibility. Now, if you had to choose between transgender day and visibility and Easter, like which one is really doing harm? Which one is doing more harm in your mind? Maybe neither, maybe you don't care. And, I, and that's okay, fair enough. I respect that. But I think this is part of this wider subversion that's going on. This is what I'm talking about. Like. These things happen in sometimes really subtle ways, but we cannot allow this to be normalized, okay? Um, 
Let's see what you guys are saying. Zarang said, the Red Wedding was an event and watching the reaction of regular people was awesome. We've slowly whittled away the small events that gave us reasons to discuss ideas. Yes! Yeah, it's like when, you know what? I, I noticed that whenever I get into conversations with Gen Xers, the, the topic of like Transformers, G.I. Joe, and Robotech always comes up. <laughs> like a hundred, like always we talk about that or MTV or, you know, like our favorite shows because the or, or movies from the period you know i love aliens and predator and stuff like that that's why i'm playing hell divers it's like you know it's straight up i mean it's starship troopers a lot but like even there's a lot of 80s stuff in it um i've been on the ship for a while i should i'm, I'm a little worried that like i don't know and uh, so circumcision escalation right there robert johnson we must act let me go look here. How are we doing? That's, somebody's ship got destroyed. Um. So, let's see what you guys are saying. Uh, Nova Fan says, Yep, I've noticed the erasure of Father's Day for years now. Yes, if they want to erase Father's Day, I hope Mother's Day gets replaced with Transformers. Maybe. But the funny thing is, is that if that starts to happen, all of a sudden, it's going to be a problem. OMG! Like, you know, what... Why don't you like mothers? Why why don't you like women? We're gonna make it about women again. Um Lost your great Lent virginity. <laughs> yes. Yep, that's where the diverge. Yes. Gentlemen, I regret to inform you that Protestantism. Yeah. Robert John says Dylan Mulvaney Day. Yes. Um Leave it to a puppet to ruin reality. Well, I mean, like, I think we all know he's working like uh, he, Obama's calling the shots or Hillary Clinton or both of them uh, Zerang says supposedly Trans Day of Visibility goes back to 2009 I don't know why it was voiced today and I don't know why a visibility day for trans people started in the late 2000s when trans wasn't a big thing while well, they were laying the groundwork they're very clever Robert Johnson says circumcision escalation right there John Richard says Trump Transformers visibility day is what they want you to think about yeah Planet Fitness has entered the chat. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So to me, this is not like to put it out there for Joe Biden to put this out there, this announcement. But the problem is, is that this is the thing, though. The people who are pushing back are the Christians and Catholics. And the reason why I think this is a problem is because our society is so secular that we are going to see the Christians and Catholics and people like me as the crazy ones. Oh, look at those weirdos. Why do they care? And and the and then because it was it was put into like it was it was starting to be a thing in 2009 if Christians push back then the, you know, the trans lobby can just say, look, man, it's canon. We did it in 2009. This is what, like, like you know, the, you know the stuff that they're changing in, like, our culture? Like, where they're retconning things um, in the movies, like the Marvel movies or, or, or Star Wars. That they're doing it now because if you call them out, they get to tell you, well, look, we did these in the books. Like, I stopped playing uh, Jedi Survivor. I mean, I, I'm going to go back and finish it at some point, but I lost interest. And one of the reasons why was because I started to see that they were cramming in High Republic lore into Jedi Survivor. And the High Republic was a series of books that came out or books that they're working on. I don't really know what's been released, but it's basically retconning the history of Star Wars. And it did it after Disney bought the property. So Disney buys Lucasfilm. And then they start like having people write books of, that show like non-binary, trans, and all these like all this woke, diverse shit in the history of the books. And even if the books don't sell, it doesn't matter because they get to say this is canon because we did this so many years ago. So, and I said that because it's in Jedi Survivor. There's a there's references to it. You can literally like use the Force to look back in time to see the retcon. Which, by the way. There was uh, the force. I don't think it let you look back thousands of years, but that's not important, right? 
Knights of the Old Republic. They're going to give that game a remake. I never played it, but I heard lots of good things. I promise you they're going to cram in some, some High Republic shit in there. And also this new show, The Acolyte, it takes place, I think, during the time of the High Republic. They are using it to retcon, but because they wrote the books years back, you can't call them out because, well, you can, but they're going to say, well, look, we did this. Don't you care about canon? You know, you guys are always going on about canon. Well, we made, we changed the canon. So therefore, this is okay. And so putting Transgender Visibility Day in 2009 so that Joe Biden can announce it now is that it's the same tactic. They're just, they put it in in advance and they do it in a quiet way, but it's on record. And then later you say, hey, why'd you do that? And then they say, look, we, we, this was already here. You didn't have a problem back then. So, problem that a white guy says, buildings require blueprints for a reason. Yeah. Black Husey says, I knew it would be garbage, especially after the Fallen Order was as successful as it was. Yeah, I mean, Jedi Survivor is not bad, but I like Fallen Order more because it was a bit more streamlined. Jedi Survivor, I think it, it ended up being too, um, too much like the Assassin's Creed series. Like, I only played Assassin's Creed 1 and 2, and I didn't play anymore. And I kind of wanted to go back. Like, I enjoyed the first two games, but... After a while, they were just like open world games with lots of busy, busy work. And that was the thing about Assassin's Creed 2 that turned me off was like, find all the pigeons. And I was like, fuck that. Or the feathers or something. I, I don't remember what it was. It was feathers. Um, and I was like, nah, fuck that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know? So like, this is what uh, uh, Fallen Order does the same thing. It's They give you all of this shit and they make, it's just too big. It's like, this is too big. I don't need games to be this big. I like the Soul series. I think that's a very, it's like big enough to give you a lot to do, but you don't feel like you're seeing the same things over and over. So, Zering says, if the High Republic books weren't part of the Extended Universe books, Lucas okayed, we don't have to recognize them. I just want them to be done with Star Wars so fans can make their own stories. May the best stories dominate. Yeah, um, but I'm just telling you like how their tactics work. Like a lot of people go on about how they will take an, an established uh, intellectual property, like God of War, and then they'll they'll push forward in time and change the character. And then they'll use like, oh, well he's matured as like their excuse for why they're doing it, but it's not really why they're doing it. You know, and this goes back to like uh, the problem of art itself, but that I can't, I don't have time to get into that right now. But I will at some point. Um, and so what they do is that's one way they do it. And I think it's obvious people can see it, you know, when they when they made Iceman come out as gay, like you could tell that didn't make any sense because um, not just the way that they revealed it with Jean Grey going in his mind and like whatever she did, she found out he was gay in the comics or something. But it didn't even make sense in the context of like the X-Men as a comic book because it's like, wait a minute. So he didn't have a problem people knowing with people knowing that he was a mutant, but he had a problem with people knowing he was gay. I think one of these things is way more controversial than the other, but you see to them, it's not. To them, this like being like, I don't know, being queer or black or whatever is way, way more edgy than being a fucking mutant. And this is the thing that they don't get. Like if you're a mutant, there is a legitimate reason for humans to fear you. Like this, there's a legitimate reason for it because you have fucking powers. So like the the point of the way that they the X Men stories unfolded is it it wasn't a simple case of my bigoted people, my, my bigoted humans versus my oppressed mutants. It wasn't that. It was it was nuance in a way that people like these people don't get. Like where they're basically like, look, it's it, yeah, it's probably wrong to judge people like you know like on a characteristic, but. The thing is, the humans have a point because mutants can be dangerous. And Magneto and the evil mutants were literally like the example of that, right? So the, the at the end of the day, you get like a situation where you have evil humans and good humans and you have evil mutants and you have good mutants. And so what it comes down to is whether or not you are good or evil 
more than whatever whether or not you are a mutant or a human. And um, so the whole Iceman thing, you know, they they did that, and it was it, it just people knew it was wrong, especially because Iceman, like on top of that, in the comics he was always like a ladies' man, kind of a you know kind of a pimp, right? So it was even it was a bigger slap in the face. And this is what they do, and this is what Baggage Cave was talking about. They take men, masculine archetypes, and they subvert them and undermine them, feminize them, or make them worthless, or show or have a female character come in and, and you know, like show them up in some way, put them in their place. And like it, it gets exhausting, and they always have an excuse. So this is one of the reasons, by the way, and I'm gonna get back to Helldivers here. This is one of the reasons why Helldivers is successful because none of that shit works here. Now, what I mean is, in this game, in, in its lore, you are literally nothing. You are a, a letter and a number. You know, I am B whatever. Like, because my the first name in my, the first letter in my uh, username is B. So when I like drop into like somebody's group, I might be just B1 and that'll be it. If there's another B, he'll be B2. And that's what we are. And, and like, you know, I don't know what my face looks like. Everybody's wearing helmets. There's only a male voice and a female voice. That's it. There's, there's you know, like two body types. <laughs> and that's all there is, right? And this pisses them off because they want to be special. They want to be special. They're narcissists. If they don't see themselves in something, then they can't like it. And the fact that this is extremely popular, despite the fact that it panders to nobody, drives them up the wall. Because it exposes them for who they are. It exposes their flaw, flaws, their faults. But anyway, I'll read your comments. But I'm gonna get up real quick, grab a coffee, and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna keep going. Um, and if any of you guys wanna play, I see that there's one one person on online. Let me see who, who that is. Is that the sill the same? Yeah, they're full. I'll try to join. Live destroyer coordinates. They probably won't let me in, I don't know. But, um, let's see. We, uh, Final Fantasy VIII is a good example of a game that went on way longer than it needed to, given its story. Yeah. Uh, Lat QCD says it was like 20 hours longer than it needed to be. Arcade Machine is repeating herself. Yeah, I don't know what, what her problem is. There might be something wrong with the bot. I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal, though. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a drink. Uh, problematic guy, white guy, I could hop on after I finish this task. How much time do you need? 
Go. So, did you know that there is um, a passage in the New Testament about virtue signaling that Jesus warns us about? Guys, Jesus is pretty fucking based. I'm just saying. We don't give him enough credit. Not too long. Okay. Maybe I'll do one mission and help somebody out. I'll do a short one, maybe, if there's somebody that needs help. Sabotage supply bases. That looks like it'll take a while. Launch ICBM. Who else is in there? Ichun, level six. Uh, maybe I'll do an easy one. That way it passes faster. Level 33, Dinez, Papa Gandalo, Antenna. Destroy transmission. Allied destroyer coordinates received. Is it the one about false prophets? He was pretty based on a lot of stuff, yeah. Yeah, to be fair, I didn't know. You know do the health boost. And um do the this bad boy right here. Synchronized. Laser Auto Cannon. And this bitch, Gatling Sentry. No, no, Auto Cannon Sentry. I like the Auto Cannons. No, you know what it was? It was about like how, basically a big part of his whole deal is humility. And this is something I didn't like, I've been talking about the lack of humility for a while, but I didn't get it from, I didn't get it from the New Testament because I only started reading it like a few days ago. But, um, because somebody recommended, because I was like, well, I better read the Bible. And somebody was like, well, start with the New Testament, even though it's chronologically wrong, but it puts the Old Testament, I guess, in context. And it shows you how things have changed, you know? Yeah, buddy. Did you see me drop my shit down on the fucking... <laughs> I'm gonna just get out of there. That was pretty basic. I want to blow that up, but that person's too close, so I'm not going to do it. Real Bob Newbin, what's up, bro? How y'all doing? Oh my god, dude. You stood too close. Too Flew too close to the sun, my friend. Reinforcing. Thanks. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. Enemy. All right, let's do. Uh, let's see. What else is there? Let's let's kill. Let's blow some nests up, bro. Dropping a pin. Northwest. Two hundred meters. Faith and works. No, no. It's uh. It's about. Um. It's about how when you when you give alms, you give alms in secret without don't let the right hand know what the left hand is doing. The idea is that like if you if you're the kind of person that wants everyone to know that you're like being charitable, then you're not doing it right because you have to be humble, right? You have to keep that shit to yourself. Reloading! 
You okay, buddy? Democracy isn't done with you yet. Anyway. See that bull's eye, baby. Watch out for the mines, homie. Watch out for the mines. Don't step on them, please. Yesterday, um, yesterday, it was John or his friend stepped on a mine. Follow up. Another sample collected for democracy. Orbital inbound! Sample collected! Oh shit. I I didn't take my own advice. Reporting to the front. Cancel that. Marking location. Hold on, I'm gonna deal with it. it's the fucking mine. Take this. We got cancel that. Never mind. We've got equipment. Grab it. You don't have anything on your back. Okay. Ion storm in progress. We can't see. And you have Al Gore taking a good game about saving the Earth and Wired magazine release an article saying George W's ranch is more environmentally friendly than Al Gore's. Yeah, energy guzzling mansion. Yeah. buddy got a little lost have you review interview cabrutus yet yes it's on it's on my channel i did it a while ago cabrutus is pretty cool man he's just a normal guy you know he's a very normal guy but i'm glad it it really makes me happy that people are really starting to get like waking up to this stuff it's been going on for a very long time it really is like good news the good news. Okay, I'm gonna take out this thing from afar. I don't even need to use the uh north. Yeah, I got it, homie. Hold on. Parking location, bot fabricator, north. Should do it. The auto cannon will will uh, take care of the the uh, fabricators. If you these motherfuckers be hiding, like Charlie.
All right, let's go. Go here. Tagging map. North. 100 meters. Marking location. Have you? Yeah, it's it's on the channel. It's it, you have to go back a little bit. It was a live stream I did. Unfortunately, there was some uh, audio issues, but Slide. but it overall was good. Oh, good. I need that. Got a sample. Supplies. Reloading. I haven't really had to use the. Uh, the coup showed how bad the governments around the world are. Yes. I, I know, but you know what, though? Honestly, a lot of the people that were my friends, they still, like, love the government. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, that was a, uh... I think, I think there was a, uh... I think there was a hell bomb there. <laughs> Calling in reinforcements! You gotta watch. Oh, yeah, there we go. Tagging location. Cancel that. East. Box We're fabricator. East. 50 meters. Sending in an eagle. Is that gonna work? Oh, uh, that might not work. Might not work. Oh, it did work. Go wrong with that shit. Blanked, bitch. A sample. Got a sample. I'm, I'm doing like a tanky build. I have like heavy armor uh, with servo enhancers so I can throw things further. And um, auto cannon, which is pretty darn sweet. But it's not stealthy at all. Oh, there's another fabricator right there. Yeah, I can take it out. Spot fabricator, northwest, 50 meters. You ready for this? <laughs> Requesting sentry. Sending down sentry. No, you don't. Ooh, those rocket guys. Fuck those guys. Watch out for the mines. I hate these mines. Alright, let's see. We're gonna go there. Dropping a pit. Northeast. 100 meters.
Lock fabricator. Southeast. 50 meters. I'm gonna fucking take it out from over here. Wait, what? Why, is, why isn't that working? There we go. Reloading. supposed to do with the destroy that destroy antenna transmitters oh okay oh I see destroy this <laughs> motherfucker It's gotta be me! Alright, let's scour this bitch. Anything useful. I think we're done? Traction available, yeah? Alright, we can leave. Tagging map, southwest. 300 meters. Make sure we didn't miss anything. All right, let's go. Let's head out. You should check out the mix of Space Jam. Get ready for this with Jellyfish Jam. It's so uncanny. Reload. I don't think we're gonna need, um... to like resupply until we get there. There is a lot of similarities between the obsession with the state and professional sports. The fans have zero impact on the outcome of the games. Yes. And also sports is bread and circuses. But I mean, like, it doesn't mean you can't have them. Support weapon. Flamethrower if you want it. Um, It doesn't mean you can't have them. He's not using a, a special gun, so he should take that flamethrower at least. But you have to, like, be able to do so measuredly. I mean, I play video games, right? So, like, it would be hypocritical of me to say that, like, we shouldn't have them. It's just, like, I think that it's a good cope. There is such a thing as a good cope. And um, I believe that video games can be. They can be unhealthy, too. There are people who are, you know, a little too addicted or obsessed. But that's because there's something else in their life that's, like, out of... Out of, out of whack, right? Not because video games are themselves bad. All right, let's see. I think we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my auto cannon here. There's something here. Requesting sentry. Calling in extraction. Supplies. Extraction request confirmed. Shuttle inbound. Calling down supplies. Did I did I stop him? I did. I did. I stopped him.
What are you? Oh shit, dude, no! Shit. AP says Kratos was technically a hell diver. Bro even slaughtered Hades. <laughs> um. Great Doors, I saw it. Why would you turn to government to see how they're addressing the holidays anyway? The State of the Union is already cringe. Yeah, but a lot of people fall for it. Unfortunately. Put it on live mode. What do you mean, live mode? You mean put it on the screen? I see your comments. Here's here's a rumble comment. Triumphant return. I realized I had my mic on mute this whole time. Can you hear me? No, oh, you can't hear me. Let me change my options so you can hear. Hello. Hey, how's it going, man? What's up? Democracy Not much. I was like having a conversation and I was like, oh, and I realized just now that I had the mic on mute. I was like, oh, man. Oh, <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> I was like, my, mate, my last name is Martinez, too. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah. Where are you from? Yeah, that's what? Um, New York. Oh. How, how about you? I got, a, I got a cousin in New York. Oh, yeah? Where in New York? Um, I don't know what part. I've never been there, but her name is Doris. She's a cousin on my mom's side. Where are you at? Um, I was originally from Chicago, but I'm in Virginia now. Okay. How you mm -hmm. there? I like it. I like it. It's you know what? I came from Chicago, so I will say it's it's less crime. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's a I don't think it's too about crime being up here, you know. It's crazy. I I know. Thanks to I'm I'm in your game, right? Yeah, Song of the Stars. I just want to see if I need to spend any requisition. Oh, that's cool. I I gotta head out anyway, but um, it's good playing with you though. Maybe yeah, maybe add me if you see. want, and I'll see you. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Have a good one. All right, man. all right. I'll spend it right now. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, he seemed kind of cool. I like how you get off and it's like you're frozen and you thaw out. Subtle. Hey, have you guys seen the um, gameplay demos of uh, Stellar Blade? That shit. I kind of love it. I'm not going to lie. Let me see something here. Um... I'm gonna switch screens. I'm gonna try something really quick. Give me a second. I wanna see something. Uh, where is it? Ah. Yep. And let me see. To try something here. Um, input device, sound delay, output, self. I don't want to do that. PlayStation exclusive, yeah. Haven't watched it, but seen several videos of it recommended to me. Yeah, uh, definitely triggering. But it looks like it actually, you know, because at first I was a little worried that it was just going to be like all like sex appeal and no like game, no substance to it. But apparently it is a, a good game. It's like, people say it's got elements of like Devil May Cry and Bayonetta as well as um, Souls likes, cause there's like bonfires and stuff. People are really enjoying it. So I guess we'll see, but people are very impressed with the game as a game as well. I would have bought a physical special edition of the game if it had been on PC, but they made a PS5 exclusive, which was stupid. Yeah, I know. I know. That's probably the way it goes, you know? Um, let's see. General. Uh, let's see. Hide anime's watermark. Hmm. I don't know what's going on with... Um, maybe I can do it here. Overrides. Oh, audio based lip sync. That's what I want. We're gonna we're gonna open this up. Okay, save it. Uh hello. And then I gotta change the um ultra uh, select trackers. Default. Nothing right now. Oh I know because this is on unconnected. Okay. So uh, audio based lip sync. Simple audio, but it's connected. We'll save it. Is that working? Hello? No. Audio Bay Ultra Leap Tracker. Select trackers. Uh, NVIDIA. Uh, no, I don't want any of that stuff. Overrides. Mouse and keyboard. Or distance. Range, frequency, head angles. No. I'm gonna leave her like this for now. That's okay. It'll be quiet and still, but that's fine. All right. Um, would be funny if a game production takes the opposite of the Panderverse a bit, build up a proper game, and then put a pretty woman in it and make it make her straight. Well, yeah. I mean, mm. a lot of people are comparing Stellar Blade to Nier Automata, so it probably is a fair comparison. And I believe, you know what's really funny is most of the people who are playing the demo and streaming it online are women and they love it. And they're using the skin suit model. There's like a, a couple of skins that you can put Eve in, the character. And uh, one of them, it's almost like a nude skin. And a lot of streamers, female streamers are playing the game using that skin. So like, is this the male gaze? I mean, like, it's obvious to me because, like, the, there's, like, nobody that is all about the male gaze more than female titty streamers. Like, they're all about it. So, like, who are, who are you actually, who are you really, like, upset with? You know? You wouldn't want to blame men, but it's women that are exploiting it. As usual. 
Anyway. Um. Hey, uh, John, are you up? Are you around yet? Let me let me see who's up. Who's going? What's going on here? Ergo, Deadly, Master Rogue. I'm gonna try and join uh, Master Rogue's. Allied destroyer coordinate. I might not be able to, but I'm gonna try. Nope, it's full. This is weird because it doesn't look like it's full. Robert Johnson, women like attractive women as well. Who knew? Yeah. Most of their viewers are likely men. Sure. They're capitalizing on the... Yeah, well, why wouldn't they? Again, why wouldn't they? How come... You know what? I have not seen my ship name repeated yet. Isn't that weird? I am the... I have the... I'm the only one with the custodian of the Constitution. I'm gonna work something out. Oh, it's okay. Play a little bit more. Ready for another mission, Helldiver? All right, let's see. Fleet station is offline. It must be reactivated before the ICBM. Allied destroyer coordinates. Well, we gotta get that done. Gotta get that shit done, buddy. Damn it. I guess I could do solo this one. Tactically eliminate all obstacles standing in the way of peace. Uh, illegal propaganda broadcast has been traced to this location. Well, we can't have that. Hell pods prime. Engaging orbital thruster. Yes, I saw Sargon. Somebody asked me earlier if I saw Sargon's video about this uh yes i have that was the that was the that's the joke okay we're gonna do um stamina enhancement 500k bomb uh auto cannon again uh or maybe 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 i'll do the jump pack. Uh, Auto cannon sentry. We're going to change this for something else. Let's try the uh, the new one. The, the quasar cannon. Let's see how that goes. Look at that. Live up to your name. Live up to freedom. Uh, let's see. Quasar cannon. And jump pack. Deploying equipment package. Hold on, I gotta respond to my wife before she freaks out at me. Oh, is that their music playing? Uh oh.
Somebody might drop in here. Hold on. These guys. Okay. He didn't, they didn't see me somehow. Take it. I don't really want to like, because I'm not really built to fight lots of little dudes. I'm just trying to get in, get out, you know? I gotta go there, though. I can probably take out the illegal broadcast from afar without even getting close with this cannon. I just gotta get it in my sights. This. There's something here. Oh, I can't do this. Can I? Oh, I can't. I can't open it. Graves. Ample. That must be where the illegal broadcast is coming from. No, it's not. It's further ahead. There is something there. Something here. I hope they have a little bit of variety in the uh, in the um, assets for this because you know, like when you find these little stations and stuff, and the, all these like kind of different artifacts, they all look the same. fabricator over there. There they are. I think I can just destroy it from here. I'm gonna have to anyways. Oh, I can't see. Alright, here we go. Another triumph for managed democracy. May liberty guide your safe extraction. Extraction is available. Alright, where is it? Oh, I can't see it. I'm just gonna have to like wait until this storm passes. Good shit over here though. Hmm. 
fabricators past. So let's do an evil 500 kiloton bomb. Kilo kilogram? 500 kg bomb. Delivering payload. That might work. I guess I didn't need to shoot that guy. I don't think these guys know I'm here, so... Ooh, I love that auto cannon, baby! Open up and say ah. Oh, I can't see. Okay, it's clear, I think. Oh, hey, what's up? Yo, yo. Sample collected. I'm getting a lot of um, feedback from your microphone. Hey, not too much. Just, just got free. <laughs> Oh, I see. Yeah, it's muted now. All right, cool. We're gonna we're gonna extract because we're running out of. Well, we got a half hour. I mean, we could like take out a couple of these nests. Let's do that. Word word. Hey, Define Smash, welcome. Your uh, your friend around? Uh, Dave? Uh, don't know. Um, I didn't see him listed as online, so he must be doing family oh. stuff or something. That's all right. I was yeah. Just yeah. All right. Let's see, almost there. Almost there. There we are. See the fabricators. I can use my quasar uh, cannon to take it out. Cool, cool, cool. 
Oh yeah, I'm like right there. That's a fair shot. Open up! Oh shit. I should have took out the troopers first. I've been, uh... You can't bring me back in, so you're gonna have to like. Well, you can now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's alright. No, 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 don't worry about it. I can summon another one. I took out their, uh, fabricator. Nice. That definitely helped. Put a auto cannon over here. Oh no! It, did it go down the hole? This is Vietnam. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Reinforcing. No worries. Back to the What the fuck? Oh shit! Don't lag on me now. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right. I hate those guys. All right. I think we're done with that. Uh, there's more coming, though. Right. Nuh-uh. Oh, he's got a personal vendetta against me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Sweet liberty, my, my goodness. Those guys don't play. Alright. No, they do not. Alright. 
All right, now we're gonna go here. Dropping a pin. Uh, you want the? If you want my, uh, oh, I should get those. Uh, let me get those samples though. Let me drop them. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! What? Whoa. I'm gonna grab my. Uh, drop ship. My uh, cannons I dropped earlier. Really Oh, I see them. Okay. Got the samples? Um, I uh, should have, um, yeah, let's see, let me see if I take them out. Yeah, I got those. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, I can't look at the map. Shit. Yeah, I've got an ion storm. Sample collected. Uh-huh! Rocket Raiders. Where? They're uh, right around the other side of the uh, cargo. Calling in reinforcement! Oh, I see it. I got the samples. Your stuff is here. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Yep. Uh, we gotta go that. Well, we have to go this way. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Yeah, I'm all out of Okay. Let's 
storms past. Uh, Republican Prince President, liberals, oh my god, how's it possible? Hey, Define Smash, welcome to the, to the stream. Oh, there's a pull over there. Enemy Just ignore those guys. Down. Yeah. There's another fabricator. I'm gonna use a, a big Bertha on it. Cool, cool, cool. Going in an eagle. Oh, I hope that worked. No, not quite. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna throw it down a Gatlin just so we have a little bit more cover with this then. Yeah, it was a, a mistake on my part. Let's drop shit. <gasps> I hit the fucking tree! God damn it. Whew. Got that Gatlin gun just in time. Save my own ass. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> what was that? Alright, this again. This time it's gonna be a hopefully this will do it. Down the hatch. There we go. Let's see what they dropped. Get them samps. Get these spoil watch out for the Mines, obviously. Yeah. There's some swarm samples. No, nothing. I grabbed I'm not some. Any. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. So, well, let's just extract. I mean, we, there's one more, but Attacking yeah. Let's go. Southeast. 100 meters. We're, we only got four respawns left, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better to. Uh... Discretion is a better part of Valor, as I said. Yeah. My auto cannon's putting in a little bit of work back there. Don't let them. Freedom never sleeps! Pass the rocks, pass the rocks. Here we go. Calling it in. Calling in extraction. Oops. Shit. Well, right on time, bitch. Well, as soon as I get a free a free moment. Yep, yep. Not a worry. Nice. Reinforcing. Yeah, I think it. I think if you shoot the the drop ships down, uh, it'll kill some of the bots like that get dropped off. But maybe I'm wrong. Oh, so. I'd like to think that there's some kind of like, you know, uh, master of the... Behind you! Oh, 
We got it. Boom. We're out. Woo! Sweet. That was tight. You have maintained our way of The wife's been buzzing me. I gotta check. No worries. No worries. Um, do one more mission and then um, gotta run. Cool. Yeah, I was uh, asked to do a quick little video edit, and I uh, was doing it, and I was like, "Hey, how's this work?" And they're like, "Well, that's not exactly what I want written." I was like, "All right, well, then write me something to put there." So, mm -hmm. <laughs> Who are you helping with? Yeah, otherwise, I have to, you know, improvise. Oh. Apparently, um, Spoon made a video. I, I haven't seen it, but it's in my feed. I want you guys that are watching, maybe check it out. I don't know if you guys know who the aristocratic utensil is. But well, he made a. He normally makes like political commentary videos, or he talks about the GamerGate thing. But he made one called "Conservative Women." What he puts in quotes are just lazy grifters. So kind of a spicy take, but maybe take a look and see what he's saying. Welcome aboard. All right, let's hear. It. Purchase room by that. And did I get all the eagle things? No, I didn't. Let's do this one. Here, the eagle things are good. Yeah, they've got pretty uh, good uh, cooldown times too. Sixty-one. Can I get with that? Get with that. This armor. This armor. This armor. Super Earth's exclusive Martyr's Day I'm getting like, um, I don't know if it's like your your headset, but I'm getting a lot of head static on your end. Hmm. The galactic it seems like when you're not when you're not talking, you it's quiet. Not there, yeah. now. Oh yeah, that's way uh, better. It's, it's probably my soundbar. Oh okay. I always okay. forget that I've got like you know like three different systems running at any one time. So. I see. Oh yeah, that's way better. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. Okay. Um, try to fight him. Did he do right? Now figure out. Cool. Think. I think, oh no, we're not, our work's not done. Is there another part to this one? They go brought again that has been traced. Let's, yeah, I'm getting the static again. Is it, is it because your, your sound bar is too close or? No. I, now it's, no, it's good out. now. Good now. It's like, I, I mean, it's there, but it's very low. It's like a low hissing yeah. sound. Hmm, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's my space heater. Let me shut that off. Eldite, take the man of the galaxy's liberation. Now it's getting louder. Huh. Well, 
Well, I'll turn down my game. Allied destroyer coordinates received. Yeah, you guys hear that, or is it just me? If you, if you, if you don't have a problem with it, it's okay. Yeah, you get my sound system sorted out this weekend entirely, so it's just perfect. So right now I have to keep twisting yeah. knobs and like you know re readjusting little fidgety shit. So progress, not perfection. There you go. Good way to put it. Yeah. All right, let's try to help. Okay. Uh, destroyer coordinates. Trying to connect with somebody. Having some issues. I don't know if it's like the version or what. All right. Mission coordinates. Oh, here we go. Hellpods primed. All right. Engaging orbital thrusters. Um. Why can't orbit synchronized? These things don't stack, so uh, I like the I like God's piss, so I'm gonna go with the orbital laser. And mm, this the jungle's not good for that. But we'll go. Uh, where did we go? Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Then I don't have. Oh, you guys have turrets. That's good. Yeah, I got plenty of turrets. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the mortar is good, but just make sure like it's not far away from where you are. <laughs> uh, Robert John said I was hearing it during the last. Yeah, yeah, I I, I thought so. Take the booster. Unless I don't need to. All right. Unsafe mode, bitch. <laughs> what? what are we what are we shooting at? Yeah, what's up? There is a totally a factory uh, over the other side of that hill. Uh, I got something for it. So pause. See if that reach is. Oh, never mind. Get back, cause yeah, it's I... gonna. <laughs> Here? Northwest, 300 meters. Yep. the extraction zone.
Another fabricator. There it is. There it is. Got it? Some of this. Oh, it's a flamethrower. I don't want it. You can have it if you want. Support weapon. Fabricator. I got a 500 kilo A bomb. But I might be able to reach it with a grenade. grenade. Oh, I think that went right in there. Very nice. Yeah, it <laughs> uh oh. Reloading. Down. Tagging location. Never mind. The sickle there if you want it. Package I'm good. Dropping package. All right, let's go this Dropping one. A pin. East, 100 meters. Oh, yeah. Ooh, check it out. Napalm. That was a good job. Damn devastators. Oh shit. You destroyed your sentry. Oh no, it's there, it's there. We got that done? Good. Cool. Orbital. 
that gonna work? Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's probably gonna work. Right? Should. I mean, it's a lot of fireworks. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of like a, there was a bit of a hurry up and wait there, but. Right. Hey, why can't I do it? Jump over it. There we go. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Oh shit. Dude, this railgun, holy shit. <laughs> kinda, kinda like it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. Activate these. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on the turn. Should be another one. Is that all of them? Okay. Yeah. Uh, democracy world. Extraction awaits. All right. Southwest. Three hundred. Time to go. We got some samples. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Alpha send in the team of five teenagers. <laughs> Give me five teenagers with attitudes. <laughs> Calling it in. Cool, cool. Calling in extraction. Okay. Where are we? 
And we're towards the bottom, so. Oh wait, I don't have any uh, turrets. Well, shit. We'll call in a, a shield generator if anybody needs one. Requesting tech pack. And a rail gun. They're coming. We're good. Seem to be. Oh shit, they're doing it now. Wait, somebody. Reinforcing! Wait, are there supply? Or... No, let's get out of here. Can we get the. Yeah. Oh, the samples are. Samples. Shit, dude. Under the. Oh, fuck. You got it? <laughs> Crawl under there and get it? Oh, dude, that is funny. Did you get it? We were under the fucking plane, holy shit. That was cute. What are the odds? Democracy prevails once more. Thanks for having me. Get down and do the nitty gritty. <laughs> if you want, we can stay together. I can't stay, I gotta, I gotta go. But I'll play rock, paper, scissors before I do. Democracy's reach extends a bit Let's further play. thanks to you. Nice. Let's play. Ally destroyer One, has left two, squadron. Three. I win. <laughs> best three best best out of five. Let's play. Mission coordinates locked. Hey. Help odds prime. Engaging orbital oh, thrusters. Engage. <laughs> How do you do One. the, uh... Oh, yeah. There's a directional, the directional pad, you should see it. Let's try again. Right, right. Yep, yep. Come on, come on, get there, we go. One, two, three! I win! <laughs> One, two, three! I win! <laughs> <laughs> Here, you want to try? One, two, three. As they are. Oh. One, two, three. Oh, you got it. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. 
game is so good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. Thanks, guys. All right. So wholesome, rock, paper, scissors. All right, thanks guys for coming on the stream. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I will talk to you all in the next one. Let me know what your thoughts are on uh, what, what I had to say. And also have a happy Easter, whether you celebrate it or not. Thanks guys for coming on and I'll see you in the next one. Davis are machines dude okay they are literal machines they are talking point machines they are impossible to fucking deal with especially if you have like especially if you have like a, a couple dudes who have good memory on top of that too holy shit you're fucked